Robert Sam. I'm studying environmental science here at United Tribes, and I'm going to be reading to you Thanks to the Animals. It is written by Alan Salkin Basin, and the book is about giving thanks to animals. <clears throat> Winter had arrived. Jew Tom worked for days preparing for the North trip with his family. He took apart their house near the shore and stacked the cedar logs on the big bobsled. Everybody helped. They packed the family sled with his tools and with the meats and the fish and vegetables, harvested during the summer when the days were long. It was loaded to the very top with precious food, but Jew Tom made sure there was room for his children to ride in the back. Everyone dressed in warm seal skin clothes for the long trip. It was time to go to their winter home in the deep woods. The horses pulled the sled through the new snow. Zusap was not yet walking, but he was a strong baby born in the spring. He rode on the sled with the other children. As the shadows grew long, the older children slept. But then little Zeus Sap stood up and fell off the sled. Oh, how Zeus Sap cried, his voice filled the sky. The animals of the forest were alerted by his crying. The first to come were the beaver. They knew they had to keep him warm and dry. So they put their tails together and cradled Zoo Sap. <coughs> Zoo Sap still cried, so the moose came, then the bear, the caribou, and the deer. The fox and the wolf came too. All of the big animals lay together in a circle. Then the other smaller animals came, the raccoons, porcupines, rabbits, weasels, and the mink. The muskrat and the other squirrels, or the muskrat and otter, and the squirrels and mice came too. They gathered and filled the cracks between the big animals. At sunset, the owl came. The raven, crow, jay, duck, and a goose gathered to perch on top. Even a seagull came. Last came the great bald eagle, who spread his wings, who spread her wings over all the other birds and animals. Zeus up stayed warm. When Jutum arrived at his winter home, he knew something was very wrong. Zeus Sap was missing. Jutum quickly lit a fire for his family and got them settled. Then he turned back the trail to find his son. He traveled through the woods all night, and just at sunrise, he came to a big mound of snow. Resting on top was a great bald eagle. I knew you would come back for Zeusap, the eagle said. Jutam looked down and saw his son safely sleeping in a great pile of worn animals. Jutam, then, or Jutam thanked the animals one by one. He took Zeusap in his strong arms and went back to the family. When they arrived that evening, there was, a, there was feasting and dancing. What a celebration. Then it just gives um, the author's note and then background of the tribe. Thank you guys for listening. Thank you.